Hello YouTube creators and subscribers, I just wanted to thank you all for tuning into my video. Today we're going to be going through Be Healed Chapter 2. So let's begin. Instant Miracles versus Progressive Healing The word is clear that healing is God's will, but many believers don't realize that healing can take place in different ways. Sometimes God performs a miracle and instantly heals someone. Other times, God heals people over time. When looking at the scriptures and the many miracles Jesus performed in the Bible, it's easy to think he always heals people in the same fashion. But on a closer examination, we see that in many cases, he doesn't do the same thing twice. For instance, here's how he healed the blind. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, Jesus healed two blind men by touching their eyes. In Mark chapter 10, Verse 52, Jesus healed a man by speaking rather than by touching him. In Mark chapter 8, verses 22 through 25, Jesus put spit on a blind man's eyes and laid hands on him twice before he was completed with his healing. Jesus wasn't bound to one method of healing people, but he was always willing. Regardless of the method, receivers constantly showed belief in his ability to heal and a willingness for him to release his power on their behalf. The same is true today. If we prayed for healing and nothing happened immediately, that doesn't mean your faith should be faulted. It doesn't mean God is angry at you and wants you to suffer. It just means that it's time to thank God that you are taking him at his word and getting better one day after another. It means accepting that what is already finished in the spirit realm is working itself into the physical realm. Remember, from God's perspective, you are already healed in Christ. So if you experience progressive healing rather than an instant miracle, don't be discouraged. Just because you didn't see an instant result doesn't mean your prayer wasn't answered. The Word of God is a seed and it is growing inside you progressively, as stated in Matthew chapter 13, verse 23. God has given you the grace to hold on to what you believe from the Word while it takes root and grows. Be grateful. No matter what situation you find yourself in, it's always a good time to be thankful. You may only have started the healing process, but don't fall for the enemy's tricks. He wants you to focus on what appears unchanged when you could be thanking God for the part of your life that has gotten better. Thank God that you are getting better, stronger, and healthier day by day. Continue to feed your faith. As you are standing in faith and allowing the Word to work inside you, continue to meditate upon the promises of God about healing. God's Word always works when you plant the Word in your heart. Keep watering that seed by continuing to speak God's healing promise over your life. In Isaiah 55 verses 10 through 11, God says, The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. God's Promises The one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap if we do not give in, as stated in Galatians 6, 8-9. through 9. Confession I will continue to sow the spiritual seed God's word in my life, and I will reap an abundant harvest. God helps me to stay on the course. He keeps me from getting weary and giving up until I see the full healing that has already been given to me by Jesus. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord as stated in Psalms 27, 12 through 14. Confession. God will not allow the enemies of sickness, pain, and disease to defeat me. 
The Holy Spirit in me helps me remain confident. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I wait upon the Lord by focusing on His promise to me, and I thank Him for my entire healing. Healing Nuggets When you partake of the Lord's Supper, you are partaking of the Lord's health. Yes, don't always expect instantaneous manifestation when you do it. This is a lifestyle. Just know every time you partake, even though you don't see immediate manifestation, you are getting better. The fact you remember him, even though there's no immediate result, glorifies him. As stated, Joseph Prince. Someone asked me recently if I didn't think God was unfair, allowing me to have Parkinson's or other medical problems when I have tried to serve him faithfully. I replied that I did not see it that way. Suffering is a part of the human condition, and it comes to all. The key is how to react to it, either turning away from God in anger and bitterness, or growing closer to Him in trust and confidence, as stated by Billy Graham. My Story Vision Restored Through the Message of Faith I need a miracle. I believe the Lord touched me that day. After a catastrophic tornado, TBN partner Shonda Tripp was trapped under a destroyed house. The rescuer, my good Samaritan, pulled me out, and that was the last thing I saw. I later found out I had broken my ribs. The marrow in my bones released into my bloodstream and collected in my eyes as poison. I couldn't drive a car. I couldn't feed my children. I could not read the Bible. That's when I developed such appreciation for Christian television. I had TBN on constantly. I remember watching, and I don't remember what the sermon was, but when they were praying for the sick, whatever they said, I did it. I needed it, a miracle. I believe the Lord touched me that day. I kept hoping that I would wake up instantly with 2020 vision. That didn't happen, but then slowly my vision began to come back. When I went to the seven week checkup, I had 2020 vision. When someone who believes God can come into your life through a television and pray with you, that is awesome. I declare Jesus is a healer because TBN was there for me. I just wanted to thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. You have a good afternoon or evening.